Bye, Tips. Welcome to another Tech by Tips video. In today's video, we're going to be addressing a video request that came this week. So the request that we got was, can I use my NAS as a torrent host and share my file with everyone? And I replied to that person, yes, you can, as long as you share a torrent using, using the Cubic Torrent, which was in the video that this comment was put in, or download station. Your files will be available for people to download. And then he asked if I can make a video guide because they cannot find the create torrent menu. So we're gonna address this problem. And it's gonna be a little cumbersome to explain this kind of situation because what I understand from this is this, this person creates their own files. I don't know, it could be like a video or a podcast or something. And he wants to put it out to be available on the internet through a torrent, but he wants to host that in his NAS. You certainly can do that. I'm going to explain how you can do it and why it's a little convoluted, but I'll give you a way for you to do it. So for this example, I'm going to run Kubiturnt Portable in my Windows machine. And you can see I have it here. And I also have a video, which is one of my YouTube videos here that I'm going to be pretending that I'm going to share over BitTurrent. And I have a turnt file that we create using the Qubit torrent application and I'm going to explain how you could create a torrent in this case with your computer using Qubit torrent portable and then pass that torrent to your NAS using uh, Qubit torrent for example you can do that also with uh, download station and then once you move the file from your computer into the NAS through Qubit torrent then Qubit torrent will be set up to share that file like if you know, it was a normal torrent that you downloaded and then you keep on sharing. So here's the problem. He, he, he doesn't know how to create this torrent file. And I'm going to explain why. If we go into the Qubit torrent client that we have from the container that we set up in the Synology NAS, if we go into the tools, we don't see an option here that says create torrent. And if you're in the Windows client, you see that option there. And that is because this container is running in Linux and the Linux version of Qubit Turn does not have that option there. So for Linux, what people have to do is they, use, they have to use the make turrent binary, which is this binary here that we see in this repository. But when I checked on the container that we're using, which is a Qubit Turn one, it does not have the binary in there. So even if you go in there with a bash session and try to do a make turrent, it just won't work. I also went into the NAS and I installed download station to validate if I could create a torrent directly in here. And also download station is mainly for downloading. So there is no option here to create your own torrent directly from download station and upload that. And then there are some tools online for you to create torrent files, but since we're running the Qubit torrent client in a container, it doesn't really work because when you're trying to create that torrent, for example, on the browser, it's going to point to a location that is not going to be accessible through the container. So we, we have to rule that out, right? So how can we create a torrent and make sure that we can use either download station or the Qubit torrent that we have in our container to share that? So it's, it is doable. So the only thing is we need to have an intermediary in the process, right? So for that, I'm going to use the Qubit torrent Windows portable version which is this one that you see running here. And in here, when we go into tools, you see that we have the torrent creator. So that's what we need. And in my case, in my folder, I have set up a folder named video and that's where my video is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going into the client, I'm gonna say create torrent, and then I'm gonna point to that folder. So then it's gonna point to the folder that has my, my file. I select that. And then you have some options here. You can just leave them as default, honestly. If you don't want to distribute it using the DHT network, then you mark it as a private turn. If you want it to be public, you just uncheck this. And then it allows DHT to spread that turn around. And I'm going to say start seeding immediately. And I'm not going to change anything else except for putting the public open tracker here. So I have somewhere that can be used to track the turn. So when we do this, we're going to say create torrent and then I'm going to replace the one that I created before. And then now we have a torrent file. And as you can see, it automatically started seeding the torrent. 
So now the Windows Qubit turned client is already serving that turn, right? So I need my NAS to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my NAS and I'm going to import this torrent that I just created so that then my NAS is going to connect to that open tracker and then download the file that I need and then it's going to be able to continue seeding that file. So that's a little bit of the cumbersome part. So let's go into the client here on the web and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on adding a torrent. I'm going to look for that torrent here that I just created and then I'm going to say, put it in some folder, like I can put it in the completed, or let me just put it in a folder that I named Learn Learner. And then I'm gonna say, upload the torrent, and then you'll see that it's gonna connect here to the network. And then eventually after some time, it's gonna see my other client that is available for seeding, and then it'll start downloading that file from my computer to the NAS, and that's gonna be pretty fast because it's on my same network. So once it starts doing that, then you'll see that it will connect and then grab the file. Sometimes I just have to give it a bump and basically restart the qubit turned container. So let's do that because it's taking a sweet time now to start. And that was fast since it's on my same network and the uh, video file was so small it immediately downloaded very fast from my windows computer so now as we can see here this has been shared you see that the upload speed is now going down on my windows client so now that torrent is alive and well in my nas i am here i can just say for example force resume to continue seeding if that's what i want because i had it set up to complete once it's done so now it is alive here in my NAS and I'm sharing it here from the NAS. So I can safely go into the turned client here and delete it. And I no longer need that. I can also delete the file from here because we already have a client that is available in our NAS and it's going to be sharing that file anyway. So that's how you create a turned and pass it on to your Synology NAS so that you can continue sharing that file using your Synology NAS as a seed box basically. So I hope you find it helpful and that helps you in what you want to do. Uh, remember, if you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so, share the video if you found it useful for other people. And also remember, I'm not monetizing this channel, so I'm relying entirely on the donations from you guys. And I want to, first of all, I want to thank, and that was Web Systems Incorporated. Thank you. Thank you very much for your donation. I really appreciate it. And if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to go to the link in the description below to uh, donate either using PayPal or you can also donate with Bitcoin. The Bitcoin address is in there too. And that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.